She's extremely confident and she knows what she wants. So don't underestimate her even though she might present very sweet and feminine and classy. Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am Julia and I talk about perfume. Sorry for the uh, kind of like dark lighting conditions today. Even though I am already in a fall mood, meaning I'm eating something with pumpkin, like literally every day, pumpkin soup, pumpkin bolognese, I've baked a pumpkin cake. Um, I'm already drinking my pumpkin spice latte. The weather is not quite on board yet. It's still like 30 degrees in Munich, which is why um, it's a bit dark in here because as you probably know, um, in Europe, we don't really have AC. <laughs> That's not really a thing here. It's, I mean, in, not in Europe, but like in Germany, especially, I would say. I think it's quite different in the more Southern uh, European countries. But uh, this is why my curtain is closed and it might look a little bit dark in here. Nonetheless, I wanted to film the video today, so today we're talking about Guerlain and I'm gonna introduce one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine scents to you today, including my humble review of those. If you have uh, ever been to a perfume store, you probably have heard of Guerlain. It's a house from France and they have brought out some of the most iconic perfumes ever and some of them will be included in the review today. That being said, let me give you a very very small history lesson before we jump into the perfumes. So Guerlain is a French cosmetic brand which was founded in 1928. Just imagine, that's a very long time ago. That's almost 200 years right there. So very, very rich history involved. And it was founded by Pierre-François Pascal Guerlain, who was a perfumer and a chemist. And I think he also did something with medicine. It doesn't say it here, but I'm pretty sure I heard that. Um, so he knew a lot about like essential oils and stuff. So that's how it all started basically. It was a family owned business until 1994 when it was sold to LVMH. And yeah, that's basically the history and since then, so for 30 years, <laughs> the people who were, who were born in like the 90s are just like, what, 30 years? But yes, since 30 years it has been in uh, the hands of LVMH and that's basically the history. Um, it also says that most of his perfumes were with vanilla and amber and I can, like, I agree, all of the fragrances that I'm gonna show to you, or at least a lot of them have vanilla or amber or both in them, basically. <clears throat> so, history lesson is over, <laughs> but I will still need my laptop for the notes, so um, I'm gonna have to place it somewhere where I can read them, because yesterday I did a little bit of homework, so I would go into today prepared. Okay, so let me start with the first perfume on my list, which is also one of the most iconic ones, I would say, from Guerlain, which is, I don't know how you pronounce it, but Jiki, Jiki, uh, which is still in the iconic B flacons. And it smells... I have also prepared some little, <laughs> like, you know when you go to the perfume store and you have the, I don't know, the tester stripes? I prepared those. <laughs> so, let me see. It smells right off the bat very citrusy and very sweet. And I would say it reminds me kind of like of sitting in a nice garden with a lot of flowers and having summer cocktails like for example like a limoncello spritz spritz or something like that that's what it smells like to me so it smells very very fresh also a bit like I don't know like a cake maybe very very distanced 
And to me, it also smells like fennel, to be honest. <laughs> like, I have had fennel a couple of days ago, and it really reminds me of fennel. And lavender. Yeah, definitely. So it smells very feminine, very fresh, but also I feel like a lot of the fragrances that I'm gonna share today also are a bit androgynous, and this one is no exception. So I feel like even if you were a man, you could definitely wear this. So let me tell you what the Guerlain website says about this gorgeous fragrance. In passing, she causes confusion and sometimes even provokes with mischievousness. She plays with the ambiguity of her androgynous curves. The outline of her figure brings back memories of Jicky, a woman with whom Amy Guerlain fell in love when he was studying in England. Gotta love England. The perfumer was to dedicate a fragrance to his sweetheart that was so revolutionary that it was described as the first modern perfume. Jiki breaks down the boundaries between feminine and masculine and surprises with its radical contrasts. While lemony lavender and a fougere accord give a cool breeze, woody and vanilla notes lend warmth and character. Even though Jiki initially unsettled women and seduced men, the fragrance was eventually accepted by everyone. It will forever be regarded as emotion presented in a bottle. Wow, very nice description right here. So as I just said, it smells fresh in the beginning. It also has some warmth, which is why I probably thought of a cake or something like that, like a bit more woody, a bit more warm. The vanilla is in there. So basically you have a couple of spicy notes. They unfold uh, with the warmth of like the, the amber facet. And then you have the fresh heart of the lemon and the lavender. And in the base note, we have woody and vanilla accents. So all in all, it makes this fragrance really vibrant and interesting because it has a couple of different facets. Like not when you, for example, go into a store and just buy a vanilla body spray. It, it just basically smells, to me personally, it's very one dimensional. Whereas with a scent like this, it's multi-dimensional, like it's interesting. You go back and you smell it a couple of times because you cannot really put your finger on it the first time. Like, yeah, nothing against vanilla body spray. Yeah. Um, so that was Jiki, which is one of the iconic ones. Um, so then another, I would say, very known and iconic one, which is Mon Guerlain by Guerlain, the Eau de Parfum version. Ah, Jiki was also Eau de Parfum, by the way. So now we have Mon Guerlain. And oh, there was a time when I stopped liking this fragrance. And right now, I think I'm gonna start wearing it again, especially for fall, because it smells very classy. And I feel like... Oh, it's so feminine. It smells like flowers, it smells sweet, it smells a little bit powdery. There's definitely like vanilla for sure. Um, it just reminds me basically of a classy woman in like probably like a tweed costume, maybe a bit more on the younger side. And she's very sweet and feminine, but also don't underestimate her like like basically she's extremely confident and she knows what she wants so don't underestimate her even though she might present very sweet and feminine and classy oh i'm in love with it i think in last year i did like a full perfume collection video and in that video i said nah i don't i don't like this one I take it back now. Like, it smells so good. Ugh, gonna start wearing it again. Perfection. So, the website says, 
Mon Guerlain Eau de Parfum is an exceptional fragrance that is a kaleidoscope of exquisite raw materials. French lavender, Arabian jasmine, sandalwood and Tahitian, Tahitian vanilla. It is a distillation of the rich history of experience, savoir-faire and generosity that has been lived with the same passion since 1828. Eight. A special variety of French lavender grown in Provence contrasts with the sensually enveloping Tahitensis vanilla and complements it with its fearlessness and freshness. Arabian jasmine is picked at sunrise and brings all its grace to the composition. Sandalwood is the wood that gives strength and preserves the eternal mystery of femininity. So basically, that's just what I have been saying, right? I was saying, yes, it's very sweet and feminine, but there's like this like strength to it as well, as like a strong character. So I agree and I like. Next one up, we have a very iconic one, which is Shalima. I don't know <laughs> how you say it. I, I'm so confused like now um, I have to speak like French names and I'm just speaking English and, uh, but... so if I pronounce something wrong bear with me so let's spray it ooh mm-hmm it smells very classy and it smells rich, if you know what I mean, like, it smells like a rich person. Whoops. So, I would say, don't hate me for this if it's wrong or if you have like a different opinion. I feel like it smells rich, yes, but not new money, young people rich, more like old money, established, like sophisticated rich. Um, I wouldn't say it's very modern, but it, it gives you that Chanel number no. 5 kind of vibe to me personally. So it smells very expensive and classy, but it's a perfume where I would say you need to earn the right to wear it with life experience. And like, you know, age or like age or whatever you yeah but it smells quite sweet it's very heavy so this is not something that I would wear on a hot summer day I would say it's more something that I would wear in the fall mm, so the website says Shalima the legendary cult perfume from the house of Guerlain is an eternal fragrance of haunting sensuality in an iconic bottle it symbolizes a passionate love story that is world famous. The first ambrosial fragrance with a generous dose of vanilla embodies a beguiling femininity and conveys a hint of something forbidden. I'm sorry, like not for me, like I don't I don't I don't smell it. Maybe in a year if I smell it again my mind will have changed, but right now maybe it's also influenced by the stage of life that I'm in right now. I don't see that, I'm sorry. <laughs> so in the notes we have, um, in the opening, by the way, this is the eau de toilette, I forget to say it, I haven't done this in a while. So um, we have hint of flowers and bergamot, warmed by nuances of iris, jasmine and rose. Usually I like rose, but in this composition, I don't know not necessarily up my alley. Finally, the balsamic notes of vanilla and tonka, tonka bean give this fragrance, which has become a legend, all its power and sensuality. Here you will find notes of the famous Guerlinade, the unique fragrance signature that makes Guerlain perfumes so special. Maybe I just I'm, uh, maybe my taste is not refined enough. Could be. Well, can't change that now, can we? So, <laughs> if you love this perfume and you know so much more about it than me, please forgive me for my newbiness uh, about it. 
it is what it is, okay? So the next one we have Eau de Cologne, Eau de Cologne Imperial. Mmm, this smells very fresh. Definitely something I would wear in summer. Mmm, you know what? This smells just like a nice cologne smells. It's supposed to smell like. Mmm, I have not shown you the bottle. I apologize. Also, again, the iconic bee bottle. Like, this composition was done by P Pierre Francois Pascal himself in 1853 so that's some history right here honestly i feel like it smells perfect for a summer vacation it smells very fresh kind of masculine just like a tiny bit i think it can be worn by a woman who is sophisticated who dresses sophisticated this is what i see in my mind but like with all the guerlain perfumes like it's not like nothing against it but when I'm wearing like um, a t-shirt and ripped jeans, this is not the cologne that I would imagine, if you know what I mean. It smells like a woman who's also like cultured and she's like on her summer vacation, she's wearing her sunscreen and then this cologne, and she's just like living her best life, you know? Yeah, so... Created in 1853 as a special order for Empress Eugene, Eau de Cologne Imperial is the first bespoke fragrance in perfume history and was created by Pierre-François Pascal Guerlain, which I have already said. So, I like it. I would wear it. It has notes of floral and refined accords, the fresh notes of lemon and bergamot flirt with petted grain while the floral magic of neroli rounds off this citrus bouquet. So as I said, very fresh, very citrusy, perfect for summer. Yeah, I don't think I would wear this like in the winter. I prefer more something like uh, this one, Mongola. But let's continue and not waste any time, shall we? Next one I'm gonna speak about is Samsara Eau de Toilette, also by Guerlain. If it matches my outfit today. This one, I think I imagine... Hmm? Oh, I like it. Mmm, <laughs> that's very good. So, immediately when you whiff it, it smells a bit sweet, bitter, to me it smells a bit oriental. I feel like it would be a bold choice for someone on the younger side, but it's not something where I would say they, it's not off-pullable, like, like they couldn't pull it off. I do think this can be worn by a younger person. Who knows what they're doing? <laughs> like where that matches their style, but I feel like it smells very, very classy. Mmm, again, very summery, very much like going to the beach vibes. Or well, not to the beach, but like after a long beach day, going out to the restaurant for dinner, like a classy, nice little dinner. Mmm, I like it. It's also like kind of hot as well. Like if I was like dating a person and they were wearing this, I would be like, <laughs> hello. <laughs> no, but it smells very good. Samsara is the seductive panacea for a woman who radiates harmony and balance. The basic ingredients that make up this fragrance composition contribute to this. The purest sandalwood and a jasmine variant that was previously only reserved for religious offerings. Discover your perfume in the legendary bee bottle created by Pierre-François Pascal Guerlain for Empress Eugenie, the wife of Napoleon III. The bottle is decorated with the emblem of the French Empire, the bee. This was to become the symbol of the house of Guerlain. Interesting. Mm, and again, it smells really, really good. From the very first whiff, Samsara envelops us in a dominant scent of jasmine. This is enhanced by sun-drenched ylang-ylang, which harmonizes with the generous and luminous warmth of sandalwood. 
iris, tonka bean and vanilla, then crown this combination and round off the remarkable fragrance aura. Mm. So as you can see, vanilla, again, it's like... If you like vanilla, try the guilna scents. That's all I'm gonna say. Mmm, I love it. I think I'm gonna wear it today. I have not worn, like I'm not wearing perfume today already. So I might choose one and uh, wear it for the rest of the day. That might be the one, to be honest. But let's continue for now with a very iconic one again. Very, very iconic right now. There is a special edition on the Guerlain website. I think there's only 30 of the special edition. And it costs 15k. I'm not joking. I'm not joking. 15k for the special edition of Leur Bleu Eau de Parfum. Of course, the bottle is, uh, I think I read bigger, it's like one and a half, 1.5 liters. So, a bit more than like what is in here, but still, like, <laughs> that is so much money. I was, I was so surprised, like, what? But they have a couple of special editions, and that was not the most expensive one. So, if you're a very rich perfume lover, why not go for it? Like, honestly, that must be pretty cool. Okay, now let's spray it. Mm hmm immediately in love. It smells so good. Oh my goodness, it smells so sweet. It smells like, I mean, not only sweet, it has like this sweet touch to it, which reminds me a bit of, like, caramelized almonds. <laughs> if you're from Germany and you've been to Oktoberfest, <laughs> Then you probably know the smell of caramelized uh, almonds, which is gebrannte Mandeln in German. Soon it will be Oktoberfest time, so if you don't know what I mean, travel to Munich and <laughs> go to one of those stands with the caramelized nuts. But of course it doesn't only smell like this, it also has like a bit of this freshness to it. And it smells very, very irresistible, maybe even more so than the Samsara one that I showed just before, even though that one is also just very good. This one is like even more irresistible. So if you want your man to like hang on you for the rest of the night, that's the one. Right here. That's the one for you. Yesterday is super funny. What I wrote yesterday is... Smells like a woman spending her summer in the Hamptons in her amazing villa. <laughs> Very sweet. Kind of reminds me of Jill Sanderson. True. Just a lot more interesting and spicy. Kind of the more sophisticated version of Jill Sanderson. Yeah, I see that. Yeah, yeah, definitely. If you know Jill Sanderson, this is definitely the vibe of Jill Sander Sun, just like smells much more expensive, it has more depth to it, like it's more interesting and multifaceted than Jill Sander Sun. And yeah, it smells more rich, more expensive. And more like... Oh, it, amazing, it just smells so good. I don't know what I thought about the, the woman in the Hamptons. <laughs> Today I have a different view of it, but... Um, well... <laughs> Oh gosh, you're standing on like a couple of books and they were, they were just shaking. But, <clears throat> Leur Bleu was composed by Jacques Guerlain in 1912 and is the fragrance of twilight. The perfumer Guerlain celebrates this fleeting moment when the night has not yet found its stars. The blue of violet and iris blends with the creamy ivory of vanilla. A beguiling trail of fragrance full of fresh yet warm nuances. This masterpiece of modern perfumery is celebrated in its richest, most concentrated and most precious version, the Extrait de Parfum. Mm. Love it, it smells so good! Let's continue with Mitsuko. Mitsuko? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> 
<laughs> how to pronounce it. So let's spray that one as well. Should I do it in the camera? No, my tea's standing there. I don't want to go the perfume into my tea. Oh, very citrusy immediately. Oh, it reminds me of something from my childhood. Probably my mom had a similar perfume back then or something like that. Also, it has a bitterness to it. It smells very oriental. It smells like being in nature, like, and there's a lot of flowers, maybe a lemon tree, because it smells very citrusy. And there, close to you, there's a stream and a mini waterfall, which makes the air a bit more heavy and moist, and it mixes with these citrusy and sweet notes of like the flowers and the fruit and at the same time maybe there's like a tree and this this stuff is coming out you know the woody stuff so that's <laughs> that's what it smells like very beautiful and like you know how stone smells when it has been in the sun the whole day also like that so all of these like very natural scents combined in one very beautiful scent definitely Mitsuko the heroine of Claude Ferrier, Ferrier's novel, The Marquise Yorisaka, bears this Japanese first name, which means secret. Caught between the promise that binds her to her husband, the young Marquis Yorisaka and her secret law for an officer of the Royal Navy, Mitsuko fights with nobility against the longings of her heart. Jacques Guerlain was inspired by this female character and created a Shypro fragrance that is both slightly androgynous and insanely feminine. The perfumer gave it an incredible modern modernity by combining for the first time a fruity, velvety and spicy peach accord with the woody aromas of patchouli. A bold combination with the aura of a forbidden fruit that makes Mitsuko a pioneering avant-garde perfume and a symbol of a strong femininity that dares to show its masculine side. I love it. I absolutely love it. And the fact that it was inspired by a book as a book lover myself, like I am inspired to wear this perfume and read the book now. And like while I'm reading the book, like wearing the perfume and after reading the book, like feeling like the main character in the book. Never mind. <laughs> yeah, but it smells beautiful, definitely. I like it a lot. And again, all of these fragrances smell expensive, right? So, let's see. Mitsuko combines a fruity peach note with jasmine blossom and may rose, making this perfume a balanced and original masterpiece. The mysterious finish of the fragrance blends spicy no notes with those of forest floor and vetiver grass. So see, again, like my picture of like the nature and like trees matches, right? <laughs> At least that's what their website says. So. We have two more, so now we have two more to go, so let's continue. We have L'Instant, L'Instant, L'Instant. I had French for four years in school. Can you imagine? I, I cannot speak French anymore. I think I would remember it quite quickly if I did a course. And I think I might do that. I did like a... A beginner's Italian course beginning of this year but right now I think I would rather do a fresh up in French because I have already like learned it for four years so I think it would be easier for me mm-hmm yeah Hi. <laughs> I mean it's not a bad perfume don't get me wrong it's very citrusy and maybe it's just me but I can't smell that much like I had the same sensation yesterday and I was like let's come back tomorrow and see what we think tomorrow because yesterday I was smelling it and I was like it doesn't smell like anything and today I'm smelling it and again maybe it's just me but like it just doesn't smell like much it's not that interesting in comparison to, to the other perfumes that I have reviewed today this one is like the most one-dimensional to my nose, to my nose, okay? You could, your perception could be totally different. 
So, the website says, This most intimate fragrance, sunny and sensual, has created the new olfactory family of crystalline amber fragrances. The famous Guerlinade has been revisited and wraps itself in an accord of citrus honey, magnolia and an intense and sensual amber accord. Velvety and pleasurable, L'Instant is a symbol of a new femininity, a fragrance of skin and light in whose cave you want to crawl forever. Not me. Let's continue, shall we? I'm joking, I will give you the notes in case you're interested. An accord of citrus fruit honey transitions into a second polyphony of tulip magnolia, Arabian jasmine and ylang ylang, illuminating the amber note. These three dominant sensations merge to create a fragrance of skin and light. Okay, let's close this video with one of my favorite fragrances um, from Guerlain that I know yet. And that's uh, Terracotta Le Parfum. I always take off the lid. Terracotta Le Parfum. It smells like a summer vacation. It smells like sun. It smells like ice cream. It smells like sunscreen. All of these perfumes are very much late summer, hot day vibes, I feel like. Except for Mongola. Are you kidding? It smells so good. It smells so good. It smells like a classy summer vacation. And you're coming back from the beach. And you've been like on the beach all day, like roasting in the sun, having ice cream, like wearing your Hawaiian like sun oil. Mm. Yeah, very nice. Let's see. I would also recommend this if you're still looking for like a vacation. Um, scent or if you know people who like these kinds of scents as a gift because I don't feel like a lot of people have it or at least I haven't seen it on like my uh, perfume real algorithm I don't know so it might be a nice tip so Thierry the Guerlain master and perfumer has reinterpreted the legendary terracotta powder as a sun-drenched fragrance Oh, so it's inspired by the terracotta powder from Gorla. A luminous perfume that enriches the radiant universe of terracotta. A sudden departure to a paradisical and exotic faraway place. As I said, it smells like a summer vacation. This multifaceted perfume opens with the fresh and irresistible notes of bergamot, an accord of tear blossom and ylang ylang whose sensual signature reveals a soft and enveloping vanilla defines the heart note. And that's about it. So, if I had to choose one for today, I think it's gonna be Leur Bleu. That is the mood of the day that I'm gonna spray for now. Thank you so much for staying with me until now. I hope you enjoyed this video and maybe I have inspired you to give your loved one a gift or get one of these very iconic and beautiful fragrances for yourself. I feel very, very honored that I got the, that I have the opportunity to speak about all of these beautiful luxury in my opinion luxury fragrances with you today most of them just being like super iconic and the rich history behind it so it's very like if you think about it it's really really cool that i get to share this with you yeah i really hope you enjoyed today's video please subscribe from now on i will try to make a video every month so one every month <laughs> I'm, I'm putting this out there so i can hold myself accountable <laughs> do it as well if there's any specific things that you want to see leave a comment down below and yeah thanks for watching bye